Hi everybody, so something a little bit different today. Uh, it can be really difficult in the summer months as we know to do some photography. So sometimes it's good to just do something a little bit different. So I'm going to try some ICM today. So I've come to a local area um, with lots of different things. So there's some woodlands, uh, there's a field just behind me with some nice flowers etc. So that's what I'm going to be looking to do. So with ICM there's a few things that you need to consider. Firstly obviously are the camera settings. Now what I normally do is put it up to f22 and then play around with the shutter speed and the ISO to get those different uh, types of shots. You're going to find that depending on what you want to achieve with the ICM there's many different possibilities. It's one of the benefits of doing it actually. It can really expand your creativity. You're going to find that different settings are going to give better results. The other thing with ICM is the way that you do the camera movement. Now you can do standard side to side you could do up and down, like a jolting movement as well, and you can even do circular movements too. Again, it's just very much personal preference in terms of what you want to achieve. And with ICM, what you need to be doing is just taking as many shots as possible and just playing around with different things. And then when you, once you get back and, and start looking through, uh, just picking what, what you consider works the best. But the important thing is to experiment. The other thing that I've just done actually, because it is fairly bright, said, you know, summer gets bright pretty quickly, even when the sun's not really out. I've actually put the polarizing filter uh, on my camera uh, as well, just because it was difficult to get a slow enough shutter speed for some of the ICM shots. So yeah, I've done a whole video on using a polarizing filter for the summer, which I'll put a link to uh, up here. But uh, yeah, it's really helping in terms of getting a slower shutter speed. Otherwise, finding that it was going way too quick. And I was trying to slow down my camera movements, but that's kind of difficult to do. So it's better just to use the polarizer, go a little bit darker on, on that, get a slower shutter speed. And I'm finding that it's working much better for the ICM. So I think now I'm gonna head into the woods and try and do some ICM photography in there. And I'll definitely won't need my polarizing filter in the woods because obviously it's naturally darker in that area. So I was just traveling into the woods when I spotted uh, this behind me. You've got the dead tree you can see there and you've got the fence going along the line so also some colors going on back in the background as well so i think it might be quite a nice uh, shot normally in this situation where you've got a leading line going horizontally across i normally do the horizontal camera movement to match that what i'm looking for though is to try and get this kind of ghost effect of the tree that you can see behind me so again, I'm just going to play around with a few uh, different shutter speeds, different types of ICM movement of the camera. And I've put the polarizing filter back on as well, just to help me try and get something a little bit slower if I need to. But yeah, let's see what happens with this. So I'm just walking through the woods now. What I'm looking for is kind of a row of trees to do my ICM. Should be fairly straightforward because there's quite a few skinny trees uh, in this woods. So again, once I've found something, obviously I need to decide what type of ICM uh, movement I'm gonna do. Perhaps in vertical for the trees, who knows? But once I've found a location, obviously I'll show you what I'm doing then. So I found a nice spot here with some different types of tree. And what I'm doing is actually turning my camera into portrait mode. And what's working at the moment is to go vertical with the ICM. 
I also have two options because I can zoom in and eliminate some of the sky that's just peeking through the canopy there. Or I can include the sky with it because the sun is out um, and it's just poking through uh, the canopy of the trees. At the moment, what I'm looking at on the back of the camera, it looks better with the sunlight because it's adding just a little bit extra dimension there with, with the sky and just creating something a little bit different. But as always, as I said before with ICM, it's all about experimentation and seeing what you like best when you get back and, and look at it in Lightroom. There's some horses in that field over there, which you can probably just about see. So I'm gonna try again a little bit of experimentation rather than just take a photo of horses, which is pretty normal. It's pretty bright now as well, so that's not gonna work particularly well. So again, just gonna mess around with a little bit of ICM and see what I can make out with these horses. Again, try and maybe get some kind of ghosting effect might work pretty well. <laughs> 